Hello, and welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm James Carter. Today, we're discussing a critical aspect of patient safety in emergency and critical care settings, the administration of intravenous medications that demand a slow infusion rate. As healthcare providers, we understand the urgency often present in our environment, but it's paramount to remember that speed can, in certain circumstances, be detrimental. Here are five medications where rapid injection can lead to serious adverse effects. First, we have phenytoin. A rapid IV push of phenytoin can precipitate seizures and profound hypotension. This is due to its effect on the cardiovascular system and the central nervous system when administered too quickly, potentially overwhelming the patient's compensatory mechanisms. Therefore, slow infusion is crucial to allow for proper distribution and minimize these risks. Next, potassium chloride, or KCL. The dangers of rapid administration of potassium chloride are well-known and severe. A fast infusion can directly lead to cardiac arrest. This is a direct consequence of hyperkalemia, induced by rapid infusion disrupting the heart's electrical activity. This is why KCL is almost always diluted and infused slowly via an infusion pump, never given as a rapid IV push. Third on our list is vancomycin. Administering vancomycin too quickly can result in what's commonly known as red man syndrome. This is an anaphylactoid reaction characterized by flushing, erythema, and puritis, primarily on the face, neck, and upper torso. It's caused by the rapid release of histamine and is typically mitigated by a slower infusion rate, usually over at least 60 minutes. Then we have furosemide. While a potent loop diuretic, giving furosemide too fast can lead to irreversible ototoxicity manifesting as hearing loss. The mechanism involves its effects on the delicate structures of the inner ear. To prevent this, furosemide should be administered at a controlled, slow rate, particularly in patients with renal impairment or those receiving other ototoxic medications. Finally, digoxin. Rapid IV administration of digoxin can induce fatal arrhythmias. Digoxin has a narrow therapeutic index, and its rapid introduction into the circulation can lead to sudden, severe cardiotoxicity, including ventricular fibrillation. Therefore, careful monitoring and a slow infusion are essential to allow for gradual distribution and minimize the risk of life-threatening dysrhythmias. In summary, while the demands of emergency medicine are often immediate, the careful and deliberate administration of these medications, phenytoin, potassium chloride, vancomycin, furosemide, and digoxin is not merely a guideline, but a critical safety measure to prevent significant patient harm. Always double-check infusion rates and consider the potential consequences of rapid administration. Thank you for joining me on Emergency Insights. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and continue to provide the highest quality of care. I'm James Carter, and I look forward to our next discussion.